What did I miss? I had to move my setup. Absolutely not a thing. Hydrate. Oh, did I not? I actually might have and then like forgot to put it on the thing. Hang on, I'll do it real quick. Today's drink of choice, Dr. Pepper. Whew. Tasty. The doctor is in the house. I was just going over some of the new emotes. The um, Ed Venn sweat emote, once again, fantastic work on that. Is currently waiting, I believe, to be accepted by Twitch. Like, I think they have to approve of emotes that go up to make sure they fall within the guidelines and shit. So I'm just waiting for Ed Venn sweat to get approved, but then I also added another four emotes onto better TTV, so just three emotes. Speaking of Doctor, did you see the DBD RE chapter? I did. I sure as hell did, fam. Looks great. One nineteen, easy. Glad to hear. Unfortunately, at the moment, I've had to make Ed Venn Sweat a tier 2 emote because um, the amount of emote slots that you have on Twitch is tied to how many subscribers you have at that time. Like, there's a lot of channels I follow that quite frequently lose, like, a handful of their emotes because their subscriber count goes down as the month expires and stuff like that. But uh, by default, you can have a tier 1, 2, and 3 emote, like one for each tier. But I have uploaded the emote directly to Discord, so you can use it on Discord, no problem. Tegron Speedruns, thank you for hosting the stream, hope you're doing well. Sorry, Silent Gamer, I can see that you've put up a thing about the DBD thing. Uh, that's the far end. That's like this one up here. That's not great. That's the worst RNG for that room. For anyone not familiar with the terminology, RNG means random number generator. Basically, luck. The game has like, it basically works as like an invisible dice roll and depending on what the game quote unquote lands on, it determines what luck you get. It's just a more technical term for luck. I agree completely. Oops. The Nemesis perks are pretty average, like a lot of people seem to really like the one where you can see everyone when the map starts, but I... Like, when the game starts, you can see everyone for 7 seconds or so, but I, I don't buy into that hype at all. But yeah, the map does look absolutely incredible, plus Nemesis himself looks really fun. And... The fact that they added zombies, even though I'm sure the AI is not great, but just the existence of them is real nice. <clears throat> RN, go fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah, if you've ever heard the term RN Jesus, that's where that comes from. The belief that some divine spirit praises your speedrun by giving you good luck back to back to back. I am not of the RN Jesus faith. Anyone who's ever watched one of my streams will know that I am not a person that receives good luck, like often. Yeah, Dead by Daylight, the perk, because you're saying you don't understand why everyone's hyped for that. A lot of people are like, oh well, at the start of the game you can see everyone for 7 seconds and that's great, so you can start a chase and know where people are early. But like, is discordance not the same thing? Like, if two people jump on a generator at the start of the game, you will know where not one, but two people are. 
that time loss was because of bad RNG. It is what it is, these things happen. And then Discordance not only lasts for more than 7 seconds, but also doesn't expire. So... Yeah. Let's go! Let's get the lock. I'm gonna have to heal now. Oh. Oh. Close. <clears throat> that was a lot of disgusting. How was work this morning? Eh. Uh... The work decided they'd, they'd spent too much money on staff, basically, so they decided to send some people home early to cut back on, like, money and stuff like that. Not me! I was in all day. Haha. <laughs> Started at 7 in the morning and just finished at 4 o'clock there. And then um, the heat upstairs in the shop, for some reason at the moment, is, like, super hot. Like, it's got to be like 15, 16 degrees Celsius. I don't know what that translates to in Fahrenheit, but it's it's pretty damn hot as far as like working conditions go. Uh, what am I doing? There we go. I've never made that mistake ever. May I ask what you do for work? You may. Uh, I'm a retail associate. It's what? 140 Fahrenheit? Surely that's not right. Or is it? Retail associate is just a fancy way of saying I work in a shop. But like if anyone ever asks you in any official sense what it is you do is retail associate. Okay, we need to kick this, I believe. Oh, it most definitely wasn't 60 Celsius, it was like 16. In case anyone thought I said 60. Imagine working in 60 Celsius. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. Don't get me wrong, that's still, that's still warm for like, working over a prolonged period of time, like multiple hours. And then not just that, because like, Covid and shit, you have a face mask on all the time. Man's out here working in the microwave. <laughs> Darn Tootin. Oh! No. Well, perhaps one day I'll be able to kick the old retail associate living and do this full time. That would be real nice. A man can dream. Full time Eep speedrunner, imagine. I would have literally no excuse to not have every world record. Redeemed Hydrate, thank you. Get a quick sippy. Ooh, tasty. But yeah, because of the because of the heat at work, and then also the fact I had like five hours sleep before work, uh, I started getting a sore head, so I've just popped two paracetamol before the stream. Like literally just before the stream. Time to go and make some dinner. Tasty. Where are we losing this time? Maze more than likely. <laughs> more!
Eighty stud dead in that. I always super mash at the Gary part and end up speaking to him like too much. I actually will have another drink of Dr. Pepper. I'm just gonna wait till it gets to like a less demanding part of the run. Yeah, depending on how quickly we do this e-ball alone speedrun, I may or may not try a TGE run. For those not in the know, TGE stands for True Gertena Exhibit, which means starting from a new game is the fastest time to do the bonus area. Or the fastest time to make it to the like bonus gallery from a new game. And the current fastest way to do that is to complete together forever and then start a new game plus and then complete together forever again. Oh yeah, there's like a bonus area um, that you can go to in the are from the black gallery, but only in a new game plus. It's surprisingly unknown, like a lot of people don't know that it's there. For the longest time, I didn't. Like, I'm pretty sure I was already like an avid Eep speedrunner. And then I seen a video or something that was like, oh, completing the EB bonus area. And I was like, there's a bonus area. Excuse me. But yeah, there is. We were also talking about possible meme runs. If that happens, I'm going to be streaming this every day. Ooh. What, what are we talking? What sort of meme runs do you have in mind? And yeah, the bonus area isn't super familiar to a lot of people, honestly. Like, a lot of people get an ending and then just restart the game for another ending. A lot of people won't do New Game Plus because they don't think there's any incentive to do that, you know what I mean? How fast you could die, percent. <laughs> There's a similar meme category for Misao. Um, the definitive edition of Misao. There's a character that tracks every death that you have because there's a lot of hilarious ways to die. I think there's like 40 or so ways that you can die in that game. And there's a character that tracks every way that you've already died. So there's a, a meme category called Death Percent where it's you have to die in every possible way as quick as you can. Gary closed the book percent. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm glad you all are familiar with Misao. Misao gets pretty overlooked because it's not in the... Like, I've mentioned that a handful of times, but there's a trilogy of RPG Maker games, Eb Madfather and Witch's House, which everyone considers to be, like, the pinnacle of RPG Maker games. And I know that Misao is pretty popular, but a lot of the time it doesn't really get a look in because it's not one of those games. <laughs> I might have to try Death Percent at some point. Some point. I haven't tried it. It's one of the only categories I haven't tried. Possibly the only category I haven't tried.
would there be any interest in that? Like, I'm most certainly going to do it anyway, but I'm always curious to know whether people would want to watch that or not. Please do death percent. Okay. I'll pop it on the back burner. Not so much the back burner, but I have like a ton of RPG Maker games that I do want to try, and I've already played Missile. Not on stream, but I was an avid Missile speedrunner at one point. I have to give some new games a chance as well on Vulturedal. Paranoiac. That's another game I've played. I've only played the remake, but Paranoiac. I haven't streamed that, but I... Pretty sure I still have the world record for, like... Both categories. I know there's a good end and a bad end for it. Yeah, Paranoiac's pretty good, honestly. It's one of the better games that um, Yuri's made. Would you ever consider playing Strange Man? Haha, -ha, I have. Not all of them on stream, the only one I've played is... The only one I've played is Crooked Man. But I do have all of them. Um, I don't know if you'll have seen them in the server, but both Tegron and Numelix are both avid speedrunners of both the Sandman and the Boogeyman. I know, uh, Paranoiac's an RPG maker game. It's um, created by the same person that made Mermaid Swamp. I believe it's a woman that goes by the name Yuri, like URI. Pretty sure she made the Strange Man series as well, so she has Mermaid Swamp, Strange Man series, Paranoiac, and Insanity, I believe are all games that she made. I won't kid you, Mermaid Swamp's kind of a meme, like, among our small speedrunner group. Um, Lachlan was like the innovator for Mermaid Swamp, and then SMP was the innovator for the original Mermaid Swamp, like the pre-remake version. What's this layout again? Is it this one? No, it's not. Is it this one then? Yeah. That's acceptable. I'll take it. Yuri made the Strange Man series. Yep. I'll still... I'll have to play one of them. Hey, it's Pepper Sheep. Thank you for the subscription. I don't know how you've managed to do that, but thank you for coming. <laughs> It's all jams. Thank you again for the subscription. Much appreciated. I made a handful of mistakes this split. And um, I got kind of bad luck on the door room as well. Meh, that's fine. Minus 18.6. Yeah, the last time I done this category was on the old version of the game. And this is like the new version, which is slightly faster. So the dialogue goes a little quicker. There is a downside to that though, which is in the old version of this. Or originally we would play this category on game version 1.2. And game version 1.2 doesn't have three layouts for the hide and seek room, it only has one. So, it's a little slower than the fastest one, or the fastest layout, but it's consistent. Which is why it's very easy to lose time in that split if you're comparing a 1.7 run to a 1.2 run. What 
what do the colours mean again? You explained, but I forget things a lot. No, that's okay. Um, if the... Well, obviously, if it has a plus or a minus, that means we're either ahead of our old time, if it's a minus. Or if it's a plus, it means we're behind our old time. Um, if it's in red, it means we are behind the pace that we should be. Usually, you'll only get red if it's, like, a plus. If it's a, a green number, then it means it's... Like, you're ahead of your old time by that amount. But it's not the best that you've ever done. So, if it's green, it's like, you're ahead, but it could be better. If it's gold, then it's, you're ahead, and also, this is the fastest pace that you've been on for this, like, individual split. Like, all the, all the different B sections there, like, gallery, gary, too spoopy for me, split, so on and so forth. It tracks not only your overall time for the run, but also how much time that you're taking to do each individual one of those. It's actually a pretty intelligent piece of software, like all in all. Uh, I've never done that. No, not never done that, I've done that before, but just I never do that, I should say. It's not a common mistake. I see, thank you. That's okay, not a problem. Always happy to help. Okay, we can get that hydrate, quick quick. World record pace sip. I did don't press last night and had to redo the puzzle. <laughs> There's nothing worse by the way. Like just when you were saying your finger slipped. Like say if you're speedrunning and you're mashing or something like that and your hand just slips off the keyboard, it feels like just the worst way to lose time. Like as soon as it happens you can almost feel yourself say to yourself like I shouldn't have done that. Not as bad as when I pressed F12 when I meant to turn up my brightness. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, that's rough. Yeah, that's... that is rough. I'm sorry to hear legit, Legitimately sorry to hear that. I pressed Windows instead of FN. You know having the brightness key tied to like, function F12 is asking for trouble with Eeb? <laughs> if I was going for a good ending I would have lost the whole run there. Let's get an F in the chat for my guy. I wasn't running it, I was just sad for a bit. <laughs> Thank you all for those Gary Fs. He certainly does appreciate it. Okay, so we need to remember that we're not going into the portrait. Well that was pretty quick. I was expecting that to need like a handful of runs, but nah, that was actually okay. 2447? I don't think that's great. It's certainly an improvement. <laughs> 